uh, during this call, we review the work that has been done. And in a couple of weeks, we're going to actually go back over the cultural build because a lot of new people have come in Ooh. and uh, it needs to be reviewed and revised. And then, uh, and then we're going to uh, just continue handing in deliverables until we deploy the actual token economy and the culture that we build around it uh, around Christmas time. Uh, kind of like a, a nice uh, change of pace for 2020. That's the goal. So. Uh, that Anderson is here. That maybe we can start the record. Yeah, YGG. Do you want to introduce yourself? Yeah. Hey, everyone. Uh, it's nice to be in this call. Uh, I was in the CAD CAD community call a couple months ago, so I might have seen some of you in there. But um, I'm excited to get joining these weekly syncs and I'm more than comfortable using OBS. And uh, yeah, I was talking with Griff. Um, it, it, OBS is super easy. It's easy to install and it's really easy to get started. So I don't know if we, I could do like a simple demo Shay. or something. Yeah, I don't know if we want to do a demo because uh, there's so much to cover, but right. I would like to solicit volunteers. Nice. Does is any, because uh, ideally we have a few people recording because not everyone can make every call. Uh, does anyone else feel comfortable uh, installing OBS and making some recordings? Oh, yeah. Uh, yeah. That? Yeah, it's me, Septimus. Uh, Septimus. I, yeah, I used to stream, so I think I can, I can handle that. Fantastic. Uh, anybody else? So uh, what we'll do is Zeptimos, uh, sync up with YGG. And uh, we will, YGG, is that what you go by? <laughs> uh, you can call me Sean. Or Sean. YGG, YGG is good. If you forget my name, that's fine too. <laughs> uh, that's cool. I'll try to remember Sean. It's a good name. Uh, so yeah, Sean and uh, Zeptimos, you guys can hang out and I'll and ping me and I'll give you a Google Drive link. Uh, ideally, you know, just any call that you're in with the TEC, record it and uh, upload it to Google Drive and then I'll take it from there to make sure it gets posted on YouTube with comments and all that stuff. Someone's got an echo. I think it's Santi. I think it's Santi. Okay. Uh, okay. Uh, thank you guys for volunteering, guys on, the for OBS. volunteering on the OBS. Ooh, and Santi, Ooh, can you mute? Santi, can you mute? Yeah, I can hear you, but uh, I'm I'm just switching to the computer. Never mind. Ah, perfect. Ah, perfect. Okay, so uh, again, so, the purpose of uh, this again, call, the purpose of this call is to show off the work that has been done this week. Uh, it's not to really discuss or brainstorm improvements, that stuff, we have too much to review. So uh, we try to do that offline uh, in the in the documents themselves, asynchronous as much as we can in this remote environment. And then if anybody has any ideas on things that need to be done this week, uh, in the notes document, there is a section at the end for action items. So please, uh, note the action items here at the end. Feel free to just write in this document. It is your document. Feel empowered. Uh, and anything that you think of that needs to be done next week, write it here so we don't lose it. And then uh, the community stewards will try to pick it up. OK, so uh, actually, I'm going to lead first on the review of the work that has been done by the tech spec working group. Uh, if you go to the notes, you can see our working group manifesto. I'm actually not going to review it at all because there's a lot of other things to talk about. But if you want to understand what the tech spec working group is about, that's the place to do it. Uh, this week, uh, Sam has been working a lot uh, with me on this on this doc, and we've collected some uh, to do items. So if anybody wants to help the tech spec group uh, work on uh, fin fin finalizing the test deployment and getting it out ASAP, uh, we have kind of an open work section here for contributions, feel free to just DM me and uh, say, hey, I want to work on this. I want to work on that. And a lot of it we're going to uh, have working group sessions with. And we'll just, uh, it's really, we just need people to carry the flag. And then uh, you don't have to do all the work. You just have to carry the flag to make sure the work gets done. So a couple of things I want to point out. Uh, the actual tech spec documentation uh, still needs to be written. We have uh, this doc is for like notes on the working group. And then we have 
uh, a work in progress uh, tech spec doc here where we are taking the deployment script and the gardens template.soul script that have all the actual technical details for deploying this and just cleaning it up so that uh, normal people can read it and understand what we're doing. Uh, if you want to help with that, please DM me. Uh, also, uh, we have some more uh, smaller research uh, topics like uh, uh, digging through the code and understanding if we can actually use XDI directly, uh, forking all the Argon apps to GitHub, uh, verifying all the contracts on Block Scout, uh, making a, uh, an, another one that's really big is uh, that I would love to help work on with somebody is uh, making a proposal uh, for funding the development work from uh, the OneHive team. So uh, Sam and Paulo and Fabi and uh, Rodrigo and, and a whole bunch of uh, uh, bees from the OneHive team are going to help us to deploy all this stuff and actually do a lot of work on the OneHive uh, gardens template. And OneHive would actually like to support us for this. We just have to actually ask for it. So uh, I can walk people through that process if someone wants to help me carry that flag. Uh, there's also a lot of GitHub documentation that needs to be done, as well as uh, making an architecture diagram. So it's something people can look at and understand how all the pieces fit together. Uh, this week, uh, a lot of people have already taken up tasks. Uh, ticker symbol, logo, and name the comms working group is working on, as well as the forum, which I'm sure they'll talk about. Uh, Vivi is uh, looking to work on the front end for the hatch when she's it, when uh, Sem has it deployed. Uh, the, the, hatch the hatch balance R oracle Sem is working on. Uh, the test list for impact hours, Paulo made an awesome PR for that. Thank you, Paulo. Uh, and uh, adding two con parameters to the contributor role, there's like a few small uh, changes to what is already deployed or what has already been audited that we have to make uh, to make it work for our use case. So Sem is working on that. And then uh, publishing the contracts to APM, which Sem is working on, and uh, taking the deep dive into how bonding curves work and how we use it. Uh, this is, I think, uh, I think Bobby is going to take that on. Uh, I want to pass it to Sem if you have anything you want to talk about, Sem. Uh, and the progress of the actual uh, deployment. Yeah, yeah, we are a little bit behind of the schedule because we wanted to. Um, it's still a test, so we are, we are not like launching any anything or it's it's it's. But we in the in the plans we had we wanted to have um, the hatch already open. So who wants to test it can can play with it. E, we are a little bit behind of that, and uh, our priority right now is to deploy the the, the applications that already exist, and maybe let the um, hatch oracle, which is that new piece that we need um, to no, restrict the number of tokens that people can buy depending on the number of CSDK tokens that they have. That part, we may let it for the subsequent test. And have it as, as soon as possible in, in XDI to, to test. But the, the code has some... Um, it, is, it has some things that are a bit uh, outdated, and we might want to change that first, or I think some way in which we can publish it on on XDI with without the, the errors that is it is giving right now. And, and yeah, um, I hope that we can figure it out with the people at OneHive and and see if if we can work with that uh, and have that um, this week, so we can uh, announce to the testers who want to to join that we have the, the hatch going. Nice. After yeah. that, so, we, we, we can continue with the with the front end for the hatch and the rest of the things that are, are right now a kind of blockage because we don't have that hatch in the blockchain. Yeah, 
So in summary, we're going to deploy this thing as soon as we can, running into some bugs uh, that won't allow us to get it to uh, XDI. But before next week, for sure, before this call next week, hopefully over the weekend is the goal, uh, we will actually be able to allow you guys to all buy into a hatch and start participating in a very uh, simple test commons. Uh, and just so you know, like it will be live on XDI with real money, uh, but uh, any money that goes in there, uh, it's likely to just to be considered a donation. So I'll probably just give everyone a dollar or something uh, so that you can buy in and ideally don't buy in with, with more uh, when we get to that point. And I'll repeat that again uh, when I s send everyone the dollar to buy in. Um, so uh, the goal is not to raise money here. The goal is just to get you guys all ex to experience what we might be playing with uh, at the end of this game. So that's the tech spec working group. Uh, there's obviously a lot of small little work that, uh, you know, Paulo was a huge contributor this week, and obviously Sam uh, went way above and beyond uh, to build some things. But we need more help. So if anyone can help us, uh, feel free to DM me, and I'll help coordinate work for you. Uh, I'll pass it to Olivia for the soft governance working group. And we have 34 more minutes, so we'll have to be pretty quick. I'll be really quick. Um, this week in the, in the soft governance, we had more open discussions that still don't have very clear action items apart from the ones that are already happening. That is, um, is the, the map of con contributors that please click on that link and add your information to that map. That's a way for us to, um, see each other, understand who we are, see how we can collaborate with each other, what languages do we speak, where are we located, what are our interests, and how we can coordinate better. Um, also, Umberto, he's not here in the call, but he created a clickbait that uh, we're still setting up to organize all the workflow that is happening. And we have uh, one with the conflict resolution practices, and he was working with Lorelei this week and one of the the things that came up is to start more conversations around conflict in um, in our channels in the telegram uh, working group or in the discord channel so if you want to join us on that please do so because we need to understand what conflicts are possible to arise to create more uh, structure for them and maybe one you want to speak uh, quickly about your progress around that? Well, um, my my progress um, is in the document, but I would really love if anyone, if everyone can uh, like read it and put their feedback on. Um, it's mainly like uh, an idea for having uh, a, a conflict resolution mechanism inside decentralized organizations um, with a, like a, a first a, tra a training and then, um, well, uh, like a definition of how are we going to board conflicts, what are the conflicts we are going to, to be able to solve. And uh, yeah, uh, there's like uh, different approaches and uh, we have uh, some uh, university resumes so um, if anyone can contribute, that would be amazing. Also this week, um, like uh, Fabian uh, talked about applied ethics. So if anyone can help us in this uh, uh, um, with a different focus, it would be amazing. And that's all. Thank Thanks. you. And um... Also, yeah, Jess is uh, doing some research on reward systems um, of what happened, what's happening in other DAOs. So also, if you have information about that, that's going to be really useful for the soft governance working group and also for the onboarding working group that I'll speak about soon. And uh, we've been having an onboarding experiment proposed by Angela. It was the second call and some of you that are here came and it's very cool to just have a moment to get to know each other 
uh, in person, kind of, and to be able to explore a little bit more everything we're doing. So next week, we are going to have a, a token engineering Q&A, not token engineering comments, but if everyone wants to understand more about the token engineering field. And, uh, and then uh, a big call to action is we are, uh, we're working on the mural board that is linked uh, in the notes doc. And, and we are moving from accountability to sanctions. And these topics are very related to each other. So we gathered a lot of data in our last meeting. And it's all quite uh, complicated data. And one of the points that we, uh, that we came down to is that we should expect the best and prepare for the worst. And what is the worst? What can go wrong in this experiment that we are doing? So I would love to hear all of your inputs. And uh, this week, the work is pretty much going through everything that is there and understanding what are points that we can start to experiment and apply on what we already have going on. And I think, uh, oh, and also uh, Santi is working on uh, Wiki and it's evolving a lot. And you guys can uh, talk to him if, uh, if you want to collaborate on the Wiki. And Santi, if you want to speak like 20 seconds about that. <laughs> Sure, I just added that point into the document after Griff has suggested to, I would love to create a Notion account for the group once we have an email that I can relate to when I subscribe to the free account and migrate all the information there. And once it's there and once we have an initial version of the, of the website, uh, I will post it there and anyone is, is open and welcome to suggest to add any additional information as uh, as Jess did uh, this morning, so I, I can yes, include muted. it. Uh, um, Santi, you are muted. Uh, I'm here. No, I can hear him. I, I think uh, I think you probably muted before Santi had an echo, and so on Discord you can mute individual people, and then they are muted for you, but not for everyone else. Okay. So I think you Sorry. and other people might need to unmute Santi as well. Okay, so if you heard me, that's uh, that's about it. Cool. Uh, is that okay? Cool. Well, I'm gonna pass it. It's a hot potato, Jess. It's all on you. You got the comms uh, microphone. Hot potato. You can see uh, represented by David Bowie emojis. Uh, what is happening in communications? It's not the most glorious work right now. <laughs> it's mostly just setting up uh, communications platforms, but it will get more fun later when we can start uh, producing memes but for now we're just black and white type so uh, Manu has been amazing thank you so much uh, for the work and stepping up with like running the ball on setting up the forum with Kai um, Manu's going to be working on that this weekend and then I'll jump in for the front end organization uh, parts oh I should start off by saying uh, or I'll end with that okay um Twitter. Blair has got the Twitter set up. Uh, we'll be sharing that uh, soon. And uh, the Discord we were discussing and kind of need to sync with Angela a bit on that, but we were discussing breaking out and having our own Twitter before the actual launch at some point. So that's on the map for later. Uh, website iteration one. Uh, I started a document and we're going to have a work session right after this call. So anybody that wants to join, um, just DM me. Blair and I will be working on the content because Manu's hot to trot on uh, building out the first edition of the website. Um, and then, yeah, YouTube and Reddit are kind of, you know, lower, I mean, YouTube's higher priority, I guess. Um, so we just need to set that up. I have not had a chance. If anyone wants to jump in faster than me, um, feel free. This works on the table and you can just join the next comms call and kind of get onboarded in and start running on some of these things. My main uh, focus and our group needs is this logo. So I'm working with Marco, like async and telegram, trying to like sketch on iterations for that. And he's pretty specific. Um, and what he says we kind of can and can't do. 
So I appreciated everybody's feedback in the document, but he's saying, you know, I'm trusting in him because he's been doing this for a long time. Um, so if anybody does have any feedback or like strong feelings about what the logo should look like, um, please feel free to send me some feedback, but we're hoping to have uh, some mock-ups, uh, I think by tomorrow is probably more realistic. And then I'm not sure the process, how we want to handle it, if we want to have a vote or just, you know, maybe two, keep it simple. We don't want to go too crazy by committee, but want to honor everybody's feedback. Um, Livy and I did a work session yesterday and today we should be Ooh. publishing, uh, actually by tomorrow we'll be publishing uh, the rewards results. So everybody has been kicking butt and working really hard and getting praised. Uh, so we will be having the results, drum roll until it's published tomorrow, the results. And then we should be on a more regular roll with the newsletter, having it bi-weekly so that everybody can see like where they're at and um, explaining a little more about how we honor the work and what work um, you can jump into that will earn like the kind of more praise based on our, our system. Um, and then Craig, I want to honor and thank you publicly for jumping in to the very fun task of telegramming 40 people to ask them to apply the, to the trusted seed. So basically, um, if you haven't applied to the trusted seed and you've gotten praise, you have tokens waiting for you. So we're asking that everybody apply to the trusted seed. So um, Craig, you're awesome. Thanks for picking that up. And uh, let's see. Ah. Manu, uh, so one of the most important things we're also doing as we are multitasking is to look ahead a bit and also to look at the kind of uh, meta narrative. So Manu, do you want to quickly say what you'd like people to do if the doodle poll is still open and, and how we're going to run um, the exercise tomorrow with the Miro board to go through your process? If you want to just, what, do you, what should people do to join in, in that call and how badly would we like their input? Oh, is he? I think he's. Did he jump? Oh, sorry. I guess Manu. He's been he's been actually sick a little bit. So I'll just say, uh, we're having a meeting tomorrow. And if you can't make it for some reason, you can just um, have a look at this Miro board. The link and password are there, and would love to have your input on narratives. What story do we want to tell? Um, who do we really want to reach? Who would we like to? Um, know about our community and um, yeah what messages are important that we're sharing about token uh, engineering and about the commons so the doodle is still open it looks like I think we'll probably close the doodle end of day to choose the time for tomorrow um, and again async is also okay but we'll be going through a process that Manu has used before that is very effective to drill down into um, getting a little more targeted with our storytelling and onboarding video is something, you know, if anyone wants to jump on that with us, I think we'll do that in our work session right after this as well. We, uh, the idea came up, uh, I think from the SoftGov group to have an onboarding video. So we thought like one minute, different faces. So we're gonna write the script and then whoever wants to say hi to the new people in the video, we'll give you like the line and you'll record yourself saying it and then I'll cut it all together maybe with a few graphics, um, you know, we're going to 80, 20 something for now um, to kind of test it and see if it's, you know, good for engagement. Um, can you still hear me? Yeah. Oh, okay. My internet's been struggling today. Um, so yeah, Blair uh, and I will get kick it off and then pass it around um, for some feedback. And uh, Humberto, cheers to Humberto for making a kick-ass news proposal a little bit ahead of the time. Um, this is kind of like a nice to have right now. As you can see, we have a lot of other work, but I definitely, he like did an amazing job basically producing what could be like a regular segment for news. And I hope that we have the bandwidth for that later on. So uh, he will uh, be presenting in comms next week about that, but that's super fun. Um, and yeah, the, the final main thing is coordinating with onboarding group for some partnership development and work. So basically we have um, ecosystem friends like Regen Network who is basically offering to airdrop tokens on our trusted seed to 
uh, on Cosmos Network to um, kind of diversify their governance to trusted ecosystem friends and partners. And this is not the only group that we have close ties with, as you all know. So looking at how can we solidify those partnerships and um, kind of we rise together, like OneHive has had huge success that lifts us up and we lift each other up through um, this work together in these open source networks. So how can we get some kind of clear partnerships? So. I uh, had a nice discussion with Angela this morning about uh, how we can start to work through that process and what that could look like. And um, that is super exciting because, you know, we can give some tokens to other groups that we want to have governance in our community. And then also, you know, all of these tokens and projects, uh, amazing people with uh, crazy amounts of potential where we could have so much shared value together. So that is really exciting and something that's kind of being worked on as well. Big calls to action. Please join the Story Canvas meeting tomorrow or async uh, fill in on the Miro board. And that call will be announced in the comms channel. Um, it will likely be, yeah, we can, we'll run it in the comms uh, TEC Discord voice channel. And then, if you are excited by any of these things on the David Bowie list, please join the meeting next Tuesday and would love, love, love to see your smiling face there and help to push some of this forward um, with communication. Oh, wow. There is a lot going on in comms, man. Thank you, Jess, for the rundown. Uh, that I was hope really... <laughs> It was really fast, and there is a lot. I don't want to talk the whole time, but <laughs> yeah, I, I if mean, anyone you, has any questions. or I'm pretty sure you could take this whole thing on. Look at all this work. Uh, if anyone wants to help out comms, that's clearly uh, they're running full speed. So, uh, But there's also a new onboarding working group. Uh, Livia, are you, are you the one who should be presenting this? or? Uh, yeah, Angela couldn't come here today because she's in an academy call and we are sharing the leadership of this, this working group now before someone else jumps into it. So if anyone wants to join the, the onboarding working group and wants to take that role of leading this to happen, uh, I think it's great that we can share the leadership and uh, not accumulate multiple working groups, but it's really cool the work that is happening there. And we have the, the manifesto that we just made up today and it was our first call this morning. So what we would like to achieve with this working group is to map all of the stakeholders in the ecosystem and establish the value flows based on what they offer and on the value that you're seeking. So it's the incentive alignment um, uh, between, uh, between the, 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 the system and, and the stakeholders. So um, we were talking this morning how the ambition of the TE Commons is to become the best place to welcome proposals that are willing to solve very complex problems in the token engineering field. And in order to do that, we need to understand who are the, the players and what are the things we can offer and how are we building value. So this includes uh, the token design, uh, the culture and value propositions. And this work is being done in parallel with uh, the ecosystem and value flows course led by Angela in the Token Engineering Academy. And there is a lot of meetings. Uh, happening in multiple times during the week and you can find the schedule of these meetings in the manifesto too and the ones that are in pink are the meetings that are open for our working group and the ones that are in black are the meetings that are happening with the academy so there are two students eli and jonas that are, are uh, joining the working group to be the bridge between the Token Engineering Academy and uh, use the TEC as a use case for how to apply uh, everything they're bringing on from the ecosystem value flow into the onboarding. And the way this will benefit uh, the near-term mission of the TEC is that we will understand how to onboard stakeholders and how to give value to them and 
how to align the incentives for their participation and create a process for uh, the hatch. So what would be considered a success? We are aiming to have three simulated scenarios that include incentives and policies, the tax feasibility, the legal design, executive model, that it's how uh, we organize ourselves, what, is the, what are the rights, responsibilities, roles, and, and to hopefully get this uh, three, three scenarios to be voted in the community and choose one that would be the route we'll apply in the MTC to be ready for the lunch. If you want to join this working group, you can talk to me or with Angela. And our next sync, if I'm right, it's going to be on Saturday. Or, yeah, I'll have to double check the agenda, but it's uh, soon. It's before next week. Cool. So if people want to be joining, uh, you can put in your name here in the working in the working group template. Uh, I guess this is the uh, this is uh, what was it onboarding. Yeah, people can put the name under members, and if you if you write up there, I'll reach out to you. Yeah, this is if you want to stay up to date with the action in this group. Uh, put your name here because it's hard to herd cats if we don't know who they are. So make sure uh, Juan Carlos, thanks for joining and anyone else who wants to uh, feel free to open up the working group template uh, or sorry, the working group manifesto right here. And there is a work document that's also in progress. Uh, wow, we are ahead of schedule. This is amazing. Uh, I can't believe we were able to get through this stuff so fast. Uh, if there's any action items, please put them in here uh, or uh, put them in the working group docs. And I guess I, I'm, we, have, we have some more moments with people's time. Does anyone want to deep dive into some of their work and show off, show off their amazing work for more review? Um, Griff, yeah. one request. Um, can everybody uh, go to the top of the agenda and put your telegram handle so we can praise you. Uh, just make sure it's there. I think we have accounted for most, but if you wanna just double check so we can dish praise to people, that would be awesome. And if yeah. you haven't uh, say, like post an emoji or say hi in the TE praise channel, just to make sure that the bot recognizes you as well, just a reminder, but yeah. Yeah. Yeah, in fact, maybe it's worth going over this because there's so many new people. So we have a really interesting, unique uh, strategy for rewarding contributions. Uh, we have it's a two step process. First, we acknowledge the contribution uh, by dishing praise. So if you've been following the common stack, you might see this dish praise to someone right for doing this. Uh, so that's how we acknowledge and record those contributions. In the end, all of that just goes into a spreadsheet. And uh, if you want to be acknowledged for the work that you're doing, it really makes our life easier if you join this Telegram room. Uh, because then when we are doing at, your name just auto-completes, and it makes the people that want to give you gratitude, uh, it just makes their life so much easier. So join that room uh, and make it easy for us to acknowledge the work that you've done. Uh, and then once that work has been acknowledged, it all goes into a spreadsheet, which is public. Uh, I will try to grab the link here somewhere uh, where we, uh, Livy and I, actually go through. And uh, we're, it's on an open call every other Friday at 5 p.m. Uh, Europe time, 8 a.m. Uh, West Coast time. We have, uh, we, we have the horrible job of quantifying praise. Uh, there's a whole document that explains what we use to quantify praise. In general, people who get paid to do some of this work, and uh, we are open to paying people for work that needs to be done if they'd like to take the uh, direct payment route. Those people get a lot lower points than the people who volunteer. The people who volunteer end up getting a lot of, uh, of points when we, when we quantify the praise, and then those points end up translating to impact hours. And impact hours uh, will uh, become Token Engineering Commons tokens. So it's basically a, uh, a, a path. The path is a little bit complicated, but uh, you, can, you can make it shorter by saying 
do good work, receive praise, and then you'll get, uh, you're basically earning sweat equity in the token engineering comments. And then you'll have tokens that will allow you to govern the funds that we raise and decide where they go to uh, push forward uh, the token engineering community. So that's uh, the long story short, uh, or, or maybe sh long story short-ish. Uh, and uh, and I think it's really important that everyone knows that this is not that we really appreciate your help and you are uh, your co-creation in this ends up being recognized uh, in a huge way. So so yeah, does anyone have any work that they especially want to show off? Uh, I, I, that might I know I don't know if Manu ended up making it back uh, or if anyone else has a. Uh, piece of work that they think they they could use some help with this is a great time to show it off no i have just a question if possible yeah um uh, livia before spoke about a call on friday if i'm not wrong but or saturday updates because they are there are not no calls on the general calendar of token engineering. So I wanted to know if there are all the calls of token engineering are indicated in that calendar of or not. This is a this is a special call for the onboarding working group. And if you are if you're in the agenda and you go into the onboarding manifesto, there is mm -hmm. a sheet there with all the schedule okay. the sheet is both under working style and um and and please break down the goals and show a roadmap okay. cool and then you have all the dates there and another last thing uh, at the 7 p.m today there was another call about the token engineering book but uh, i connected to the towers and for half an hour there was anybody there wasn't anybody in the court. So uh, yes, but... that's actually uh, Shebnem forgot to uh, coordinate. <laughs> She's doing the TE Academy, so apologize for that. Okay. Um, I'm part of that working group. Uh, feel free to always jump into the Discord TE book channel to ask questions. And yeah, I'm sure I apologize for that. I know uh, Sheb, she's Sorry. just so busy. Uh, but yeah, we do have weekly calls for the TE book, and that's uh, somewhat separate from the TEC for right now, but it will be one of the public goods um, and something that will be bootstrapped, hopefully, um, with the TEC uh, token economy. And so, yeah, would love to have your input. So feel free to direct message um, Sheb or in the TE book channel. Yeah, any other questions or any other uh, thoughts anyone wants to ask? Well, I just want to remind everyone that um... I am willing uh, to receive feedback on the draft uh, of conflict resolution. I think that would be very amazing to have a transdisciplinary approach on that. So I'll copy the link in the general uh, chat. Oh, that would be great. I will definitely review that. Uh, just to reiterate, conflict resolution doesn't sound like you know that big of a thing until you really need it. Uh, I've seen it destroy so many communities, and it's one of Eleanor Ostrom's eight principles around governing and uh, managing the, the a commons. So, uh, you know, it's it's uh, all of all of her principles are really just insurance for the long life of uh, and uh, maintenance of of a commons, which we are trying to build. So, uh, thank you, Juan Carlos, for taking on this really uh, critical work. And I think it's be I think it's worth everyone checking out his document. He's a, an expert in the field. He has a master's degree in it. So uh, not many there's a lot of opportunities to uh, bring this knowledge into other groups. So definitely worth a review. Anyone else? Uh, just one thing uh, from someone who's new. This is my first call. Can when you guys are kind of mentioning these documents, uh, it, what are the main channels to look through to be following along with uh, what everything that's, that's happening? 
Yeah, that's a great question. So in Discord, there are these different Telegram, uh, there's different channels. Uh, there's a, a whole group called TE Commons. And so we have the general channel, which is where we just uh, post a lot of links and uh, do a lot of other things there uh, then, uh, and just have general chat. Then there's a few other uh, channels. The voting channel is really just for posting things that need consent. For instance, uh, just mentioned the logo. Uh, it's it's almost like a, hey, alert channel. You know, uh, if you if you don't, we're, we need some feedback on this, and if uh, you have a big problem with it, it may affect everyone. So we put it for a vote. Uh, and then there's the comms channel, the soft gov channel, and the onboarding channel. All those working group channels are there. Then there's also the tech spec channel is actually bridged to uh, OneHive's Discord. So it's in the co-communities uh, channel. And those are the main Discord channels. And as far as for grabbing links, the, the single source of truth ends up being our notes document for this weekly sync, uh, which I can post a link to in the general channel again. Uh, from there, it's kind of a, a spider web. Like you can, you can follow all the links that I've been showing on the share screen originated in this call agenda. Also, the, the general chat has a pinned message with the onboarding guide that has all the resources and, and all these links also, and the links for the working groups. Awesome. Thank you, guys. Yeah, thank you. Great question. It's a spider web of Google Doc links for the most part. Anything else? Well, uh, I guess the last thing I'll show is that Blair created a Telegram channel, or sorry, a Twitter for us. You can be one of the first followers even before it's set up. It's uh, T-E-C-M-N-S, T-E commons, but without vowels and commons and only one M, T-E-C-M-N-S. You can be one of the first followers uh, if you'd like. And uh, we don't have any pictures or anything up. I think that there's going to be some work done on that later today and tomorrow. But uh, you know, it's always fun to be on the inside, right? Uh, other than that, thank you guys. Uh, this has been a great call. I can't believe we got done so early with so much going on this week. Uh, we really appreciate all your hard work coming to all the working group calls. If you need anything, feel free to DM me or Livia or Jess or any of the other community stewards. Uh, we are always here to support you on a one-on-one -on -one basis. If you don't feel comfortable in the main rooms asking for help, uh, definitely reach out on an individual basis, and we're, we're here to support. So thank you guys for the great call. Thank you. Thank you, everybody. Bye. Bye, everyone.